Field set to go to green. They'll work up a turn number four this time. We're underway. Ryan Tim's going to lead him off the back straightaway three wide for the second spot on inside of the 52. Going to hold on to it. Ball going to fall back to third. Jamie Ball adjusting tactics a little bit. Three and four. The inside was again. Quick start to number six. They move over the straightaway. Tim's trying to be perfect on the night here. Chasing now, the ball going to go to the outside through three and four. He'll try to get chased now around the front straightaway. Closes a couple of car lengths in the 52 as we have got trouble. Caution on the 14T of Estenson. Wayne's starting to move down to the work area. Looks like he'll be able to make his way back out. Work area time, 60 seconds prior to the midpoint of the feature event. After the midpoint, that time goes away. Once the lineup is squared away on the racetrack and the caution lights go dark, you will remain. If we're not able to complete a lap, you can come back out. But once you go lap down to the work area, you're done for that event. Ryan Timms leading in five, Hahn running in second. Duvall running in third, Jamie Ball running in fourth. Brandon Anderson in fifth, Garrett Williamson in sixth, Jeremy Campbell in seventh. Chris Martin in eighth, Derek Agar. Tim Essenson had been running in tenth, that'll be Howard Moore now. As the Mission Foods number 14T able to make it back out, he will line up at the tail end of the field after a visit to the work area. So two laps in officially. Leader plus one, and that's what we had before the caution was called for. Constitutes a completed lap. Initial start or restarts. It must be a fully completed lap as we go back to green. There goes the ball looking to the outside on on for the second spot. 52 going to keep him at bay for the time being as they were going to turn three and four. Scanning construction number six. Pedaling hard on the outside. Not quite all the way up to the cushion over at three and four. About three quarters at the racetrack as the caution comes on the 55 with problems. As he spun right in the middle of the running order. Inadvertent yellow is the call. So the call for the caution had not been made. So that will allow the 55 to go back into his spot as he had not come to a stop on the racing surface.
So we'll try it again. Still two in. Get on a restart or the initial start. It must be a fully completed lap for the lap to count. So Chris Martin, the caution. We have 10 laps completed to get 25 the distance. Crews will make their way up to get him cleared. Ryan Sims continues to lead in five. Blake Hahn in second. Jamie Ball in third. He and Duvall had a good battle going. Jamie finally able to get some breathing room between himself and the sixth. The nine junior, Derek Hagar. Lined up 10th. He's up to fifth. Garrett Williamson running in sixth. Brandon Anderson in seventh. Jeremy Campbell in eighth. Chris Martin was running in ninth. That'll be Kelby Watt now. Howard Moore back into the top ten. Stephen Russell in 11. Joe B. Miller in 12th. Gage Montgomery 13th. Landon Britt 14th. Christopher Townsend in 15th. like able to keep it out of hard contact on the wall. Higher View Enterprise number 44 will refire to the front straightway. He'll make his way to the tail end of the field with the cause of the caution. So Tim's quick qualifier earned 30 points towards Saturday. Race to the win in his heat race, scored another 30 points. It's 150 to win the main event. So trying to be perfect here tonight. He has led since the word go. We'll see if he can hold on. 10 in the books, we go back to green. Quite the launch.
she needed, though. Battle for the third spot. Duvall back to the outside, going to retake it. The three and four. Jamie Ball down to the bottom. Duvall to the outside. It will be the advantage to the Jeremy Scanning Construction Chain and for six machine. Going to be inside once again. Now here comes Garrett Williamson. The outside, the nine junior inside. He's going to change tactics up the racetrack. Battle for second. Jamie Ball going after the 52 of Blake Hahn. Hahn's going to hold it. Jamie Ball steals third back. Devault now going to lose one. Derek Hagar still on the charge here. Zane going to look to the inside. Not able to hold the line. Skates it up the racetrack. Here, Williamson there to capitalize. The 12 going to make his way by. Williamson back into the top five, just like that. Ryan Timso, 1.244 seconds, his advantage. Migrating down the track, it'll clean off just a little bit. It looks like over at turns three and four. Blake Vaughn still desperately trying to reel in the five. Jamie Ball, he's got company. Derek Hagar going to look to the inside of the nine junior. Jamie, better line through three and four, able to fend off the mid-south driver. Garrett Williamson at fifth, Zane DeVault at sixth, Brandon Anderson at seventh, Jeremy Campbell, Stephen Russell, Howard Moore continues to run at your top ten. As he'll come around with nine to go. This Tim's in five. time Ryan Timms went to victory lane with the National Tour of the American Sprinter Series. He was 14 years old, 9 months and 25 days. He is the youngest driver to ever win against the American Sprint Car Series. He will roll the middle of 3 and 4 as he finds traffic. By the 86, now going to work on the 44. Mara lap guards and a half a straightaway between himself and Hahn as they work into turns 1 and 2. Everybody migrating to the middle of the racetrack now. to wait to see the checker flag. The caution going to come out instead. The 79. Montgomery slow on the front straightway. Steel Equipment Cooper Racing. Number 79. Coming to a stop. He got a pair of cars tangled over in turns three and four as well. The 44 Chris Martin and the six. Zane DeVault. DeVault had been running in sixths. First half of this one was up battling for a step on the podium. So Tim's leading in five. Be a green-white checkered shootout. And you'll have to be perfect.
So Tim's trying to be the 16th different winner on the season. Green, the white, the checkered. Deal back underway. A bit of moving and shaking going on in the middle of the pack up front. Tim's trying to keep that car as straight as possible as he comes around and wave the white flag and one to go. Everybody going to roll the middle of one and two. They'll find the middle of three and four. Checker flag going to drop in this one, and he is perfect. On night number one of the Hawk and Memorial, Ryan Sims gets the job done. Blake Hahn at second, Jamie Ball in third, Derek Hagar in fourth, Garrett Williamson in fifth, Howard Moore in sixth, Stephen Russell, Jeremy Campbell, Brandon Anderson, and Joe B. Miller. Unofficially running out your top ten.